IFBB Pro Alejandra, thank you so much for doing this. I know your time is so valuable. A couple weeks ago at North Americans, you got first place in your class, which got you the IFBB Pro card. What's it like being an IFBB Pro? Well, I mean, it still hasn't really sunk in. Um, I think until I step on the pro stage is when I'll feel like, wow, it's, that's when it'll get real, I think. <laughs> I just, I still feel like the same person. I don't know, <laughs> you know. I think what was fascinating about your class, it was massive and I know. You, you got dead center. Uh, what, what was the like posing in that first call out, which you're not um, unfamiliar with. You're usually in first call out. Well, I mean, it's always kind of, like I take a moment to just make sure that they said my my number and I'm not just walking up there. Like I take a second and when they move me to center, I just close my eyes and went, wow, okay, I did it. I freaking did it. And I looked for my coach and that's usually what I do. I'll look for my coach real quick, but make sure to keep my eyes on the judges and Try not to look at the audience too much because that's where the nerves really kick in. And oh my god, I'm right here. It's you know center. Oh my gosh. And then you're just hoping and praying that they don't move you because you want to stay in that spot because that's what usually it means first place, right? But it's happened before that I end up close to center and I get third and I miss the pro card by a point. And you know, it could be anything. Center is. The holy grail of course yeah a fun fact for this prep for you for north americans apparently you did no cardio <laughs> yeah oh my gosh <laughs> uh, yeah. What, what what do you like most about bodybuilding well just how the body evolves and how as you get closer to peak week every little thing matters every drop of water and just how precise everything has to be and how rigorous it could be also, but um, I really love just the difficulty of it and getting stronger show after show mentally and mostly mentally, uh, but physically and just, it's also a test on relationships. So it's very, it reveals a lot of who you really are. I think before Pittsburgh, you did another national show. Was there something for the prep for Pittsburgh, which is not too far from your other show. Did you do something different or? In, well, for Pittsburgh, we didn't do a minute of cardio, just the weight training that I came up with, uh, just kind of what felt good and what felt right for the, the day. Uh, I mean, in Pittsburgh, it was more relaxed and it was more, like at first I didn't even think I was gonna do the show. Um, it was a lot of sacrifice and a lot of risk because I just started this new job and you kind of want to like establish yourself first and um, it, there was a lot of change going on around me at the time so it was kind of a like this could be it this could be your show but just a lot of reasons to not do it and I feel like that also helped me come in a little softer, uh, which is what they asked me to to go for at the next for my next package. Uh, but for the previous shows, it was very rigorous. I mean, I'm still that was my fourth show ever where I got my pro card. So I still like it was. It's been an experiment after experiment, truly. Are Are you enjoying the bodybuilding journey? Are, are you enjoying all of it? Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, it's been a short journey this year. I just started uh, the national circuit, like, what is it, two months ago uh, in June. And uh, yeah, it was 4th of July weekend. Um, so yeah, that's pretty recent. Uh, and it's just been like a roller coaster, just like zero to 100 and then back to zero. And yeah, just, it's been a lot of ups and downs for sure, but I, I'll take it off. Obviously in life, especially in bodybuilding, it's important for people to surround themselves with 
good people. Um, who who uh, supports you, uh, you know, when you're competing and not competing, that type of thing? Well, I can always count on my parents. Uh, my dad is my number one supporter. Uh, he says so himself. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of funny because, you know, dads are supposed to be like, oh, no, put some clothes on. But he's like, oh, yeah, next show, come on. And so I can always count on my family, uh, my boyfriend as well. Uh, my boyfriend keeps me grounded. He gives me that, like, humble reality check whenever I really need it. And I feel like that's a very important to have in your life. Um, my mentor, Lauren Fledquist, also, um, she uh, did the same show recently, and it was pretty cool having a friend in the competition. Uh, my teammates, my coach, of course, he's, I mean, he's always, he's like, all right, two weeks out, let's go. That's all you need. Just let me know two weeks. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. It's, just, it's a pretty small circle which I like to keep it nice and tight, you know. <laughs> you, you mentioned uh, you started a new job, so you're, n you're not in school anymore. What were you studying? or? Yeah, well, I have about, I'm like 99% of the way there, but I've had to take a break uh, due to just mental struggles and just, it's been a little overwhelming um, trying to balance everything, like, uh, because bodybuilding is a 24-7 thing, and you have to learn how to balance it with school and with work and relationships, and it's easier said than done. So I've had to just take a little break to establish myself uh, financially, which is it's one of my goals right now, um, and just pay my way through college and just finish, because that's really all that matters. So the plan is to go back next semester in January. What do you think uh, s someone might be thinking about doing an uh, MPC, MPC show in their local you know, city uh, for the first time? Any advice for a first-timer? For a first-timer, uh, just, uh, hmm. <laughs> there's a lot of things. Uh, just find a coach that believes in you and can see you at the top and can take you to the top. Uh, someone that uh, doesn't sugarcoat anything and tells you what you need to hear to improve and to show up looking like a winner. Because that's what you want to go into it with, with that mentality that you're going to win. And you're not just there for the experience or like you want to win. That's really the uh, what keeps you what keeps that burning desire to to keep going and it keeps you motivated. Uh, but at the same time, you want to stay humble. Uh, no matter what happens, you want to stay. You want to remember where you started. You want to uh, don't forget about the people that helped you get to the top. And uh, when you get to the top, uh, just always remember to give back. Seems like there, there's so many coaches out there. How did you find your coach? Well, I found him through uh, a mutual friend, uh, Lauren Fletquist. Uh, she did her research for like a year. Uh, she's always kind of guided me through the world of bodybuilding. And um, she found this coach. Uh, she sent me this podcast. Uh, I listened to it and I realized I mean, it would be a, a good transition uh, to where we were, who we were currently with. Um, and uh, when I met him in person, uh, I instantly knew, like, we were on the same page in terms of the philosophy um, and also uh, just the positivity aspect. That's also really important. You want someone that keeps you positive and reminds you of the end goal and it's been really good so far that's cool um the olympia is next weekend will you be watching oh yeah for sure um yeah it's it's crazy being on the same league you know it's just thinking about that is insane it's still crazy like my heart is like beating fast <laughs> You're going to be watching on the web from Texas? 
Yes, watching on the web, or it, they're going to stream it somewhere, right? Yeah, they stream it every year somewhere, so it'd be, it'd be cool. But but 2020, you'll be at the Olympia. 2020, yeah, I will. I want a uh, my flight uh, or some expenses paid for a trip to the Olympia next year, which will give me enough time to uh, just kind of uh, figure out the logistics of things and make my way up there. It'll be fun. Where do you think, uh, either in fitness or your career or both, you know, 10 years from now, where do you see yourself? 10 years? Oh, my gosh. Well, every year I feel like I'm just completely di in a different place. Uh, so 10 years from now, uh, I'll probably be uh, at the Olympia uh, competing, uh, not just spectating. That's the goal. Uh, I want to establish myself as a fitness professional and possibly open my own gym, my own business. And just, I mean, that's all I can say now because in the last two months, my life was just, like I said, 100 to zero and back to 100 and who knows now. <laughs> Earlier you were talking about your parents. I should have asked you this. Uh, were you born in the U.S. or? Yes. I, well, I was almost born in Mexico. My mom is from Mexico. Uh, my dad is from the U.S. So I'm Mexican-American, first generation. That's cool. Do you speak fluent Spanish? I do, yes. It's my first language. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, maybe last question for you. Um, maybe leave us with some advice. So someone um, working on staying disciplined uh, with eating, cleaning, working out, they're having trouble with it, maybe they're watching this video, what would you say to them? Well, all you have to do is win one day at a time and just focus on making today, just win today. And before you know it, when you look back, you're gonna see how far you've gone in and who knows, you'll be an IFBB pro. And just be, just keep going, no matter, just have blind faith and deaf ears and keep working as hard as you can in every aspect. That's going to lead you somewhere really good. That's awesome. Well, I really appreciate your time, especially on a Sunday. We talked briefly off camera. You did not watch any NFL football, but that's okay. <laughs> the NFL debut. Thank you. I've just been like programming and coming up with workouts for clients and just lounging around, you know. It, it, uh, you're still full-time training people? Yes. Currently full-time training people, uh, just, uh, yeah, just navigating the fitness world in every, in as many different uh, dimensions of fitness as I can. Absolutely can't wait next year to see you on the pro stage. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you.